What is a normal blood sugar level for diabetes type two? That's something people search for, Wendy. And I wanna know the answer. And there's a lot of confusion out there. There's, the, there's this keto mindset. There's like, oh, how high can it go? Is it okay to like, help us understand this. Yeah, so really you want your blood sugar to be between 80 to 100 for type two diabetes. What about after a meal? After a meal, you want it 140 or lower. And that actually is with the ACE guidelines. So it's American Association of Clinical Endocrinologists. And they always want your uh, two hour postprandial blood sugar. So two hours after you've eaten a meal, they want that blood sugar to be 140 or, or lower, which actually differs from the American Diabetes Association. They actually have it as a 180 or lower, but we go with that lower guideline uh, because if you can get a lower, if you're 140 or lower, that also means that your A1C is going to be lower. So the ACE guideline for A1C is 6.5 and the American Diabetes Association guideline is 7%. Okay, so these are good metrics to also help people understand how insulin sensitive are they? How are they responding to the meals they're eating? Correct me if I'm wrong, uh, but the the goal here, I'm not sure exactly what those organizations say for their official guidelines, but the goal is from our program, I know for sure, is we want to get to that point with as little medication as possible, really zero, depending on their C-peptide level. Yes, absolutely. So those guidelines from those organizations, they are not, you know, touting a plant-based diet, a low-fat, whole foods, plant-based diet like we are. And so typically when you're on the Western diet, they are working with both medication and um, you know, some dietary changes, but nothing like what we do here. Um, and that's why I'm so excited to be with Mastering Diabetes because people with type two diabetes are reversing their diabetes. And what I mean by that, as long as they change their lifestyle and maintain a low fat plant-based whole foods diet, they don't have to take medication anymore, which is awesome. It's so exciting. And, and their weight neutralizes, which is also awesome. It's a secondary thing. That's great, <laughs> but, but also happens and people are happy about it for sure. <laughs> You're exactly right. That's the huge distinction about what we're doing here is educating people about the wealth of research demonstrating that just because you're lowering your blood glucose level or you're lowering your A1C with medication does not actually impact your outcomes, okay? Whether or not your, your heart disease risk, your cancer risk, your you know risk of a laundry list of complications doesn't improve because you didn't address the cause. You didn't address the insulin resistance that's the underlying cause of type 2 diabetes and prediabetes. So that's where we're getting you know different results here. And so not only do we get better numbers with less medication, but we're also teaching people to eat more carbohydrate rich foods, which makes it a heck of a lot of fun and enjoyable and delicious and sustainable. Yes, so. absolutely. Absolutely.